and I signed Chris Culliver mm. out of Garner, oh, yeah. North Carolina. Oh, yeah. Cully was a three-star recruit. And I knew, I mean, he was a very talented guy. He played in the NFL for a while. But Cully, we were talking one day, and he said, man, he said, I'd love to be one of them four-star recruits. I said, do you really care about that crap? He said, coach, I'd love to just, yeah. you know. I said, all right, no problem. So about a week, I called a couple of my recruit guys. I said, I need him to be a four-star recruit. They bumped him up to a four-star recruit. And is that ridiculous or not? Then Kelly says, Coach, I just got moved to four-star. And I went, well, you're welcome. You know, and he <laughs> said, I'd love to be one of them five-star guys. And I said, Kelly, I said, this, this, we get, you got to come to an end with this thing eventually. He said, Coach, I'd love to. And I knew, and I'm trying to get him done. Right, right, right. So I got him bumped up to a five. Because I was thinking, wasn't he a five star prospect? Like I thought he was. Yeah. I, so I, yeah. I, I got him bumped up to be a five God. star. And when he did, he came to me and he's, I mean, he gave me a big hug. He said, Coach, I appreciate it. Thank you. That's, that's, that's all. <laughs> he told me, he said, You know, I'm coming to South Carolina. I said, I know you are. I said, But why was that important to you? He said, I just want to walk around school and just be a five star for a while. You know, I mean, but that's how stupid it is. Right. I mean, it really is. When I mean, you look right now, I mean, there's some five stars at Clemson right now that aren't very good players or may not even play. Right. You know, I mean, there's one from Florence, and then I, you know, I, I don't know what's happened with that kid. <laughs> but I mean, he was all everything, and he don't even play. Right. I mean, just that's my point is that all this, who's doing the ratings? Yeah. If it's a bunch of coaches that have, you know, you know, validity in what they say, that's different. But if you got just a bunch of dang Jack legs, the spark used to say, a bunch of jack legs that are making these decisions on all this recruiting stuff. They said it don't matter, and it really does. So what Coach Lawing's telling everybody here is, if you're that nine ninety nine, you're spending a month on twenty four seven or rivals. You put that in the big cock club, you get a lot better out of much more out of your investment. 